Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Once again, my name is Christine and I just got off work. So I took off like my domino shirt and then I just have my bra on with like this really cute um, little pocket thing. I get these on Amazon for like $15 and I have like a whole bunch of them and I love them. I wonder if I could zoom in. No, I cannot, but that's okay. So you will never believe it. Come home, my husband's like, Christine, all of your Jaclyn Hill stuff that you ordered is hair. I'm like, shut up. No, it's not. He's like, yes. I'm like, ah. it's like, I'm like super excited. So, um, yeah, we're about to unbox it. My son opened one of them thinking it was like his, um, blue light glasses. And, and, uh, he's like, oh, it's mom's package again. And I said, like, yeah, that's right. So I got two boxes down here. I got these ones here. I don't know what they are. So I'm gonna come in a little bit closer and then we are going to open these up and see what is inside. I don't know what I bought. I honestly was at work and my husband texted me and he's like, oh, Christine, did you um, do your order? And I was like, oh, I forgot. Cause I was at work and I don't have the time to stop and like place an order. Um, I am a very, very busy person. Um, it's just ridiculous, honestly. But I saw some reviews on these saying that they were not that pigmented and that um, they wish like the bronzers were a little bit more. Now, I'm a bronzer girl, I'm not a blush girl. But um, we are gonna check these ones out first. I have one here, here, and then another one here, and then I got two huge boxes down there. So let's dive in. Sorry, I'm obsessed with my hand line. Like, I just cannot. Okay. Ooh, this one was the one that I was most excited about. This is Hot Lava and Cocoa Rich. So, I'm going to open this up. And um, I have more of a tanner skin. So, um, it was really, really hard to tell online how um, the colors like i really struggled with it but all right first impression this is heavy 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 duty like this is like a brick you could chuck this at somebody and knock them out in two seconds this is a great weapon to keep in your bag all right so the packaging i love it has jacqueline on it and then you have the j right there which i think is awesome i have a ring light and i'm using like a different stand but, um, all right, let's open this up. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely stunning. It's t it is totally different in person than what I thought it would be. So here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, this to me, I think was like the darkest one that they had. So I don't know how dark it is. Oh, well, my brush was clean and I'm picking up product. So, oh, it is very sheer. Like, very, very sheer. Um, you can hardly see it. I think it's just something you got to build up. A little bit of fallout on the sides, but her name is, her name is down there. This one here is Stay Rosy and Yummy Toffee. Yeah, this is like when you pick this up and you open it, you're like, dang, that's heavy. It's like a, a black of gold. I don't know what's going on with my door, but. So here is a Stay Rosy. I think this blush is perfect. This was a little bit light for me, but um, to contour your nose, I feel like that is a perfect shade because you don't want to go in with anything dark. You wanted to keep it look looking natural and just kind of on its own. My nose is definitely a little bit crooked. I think I get it from my mom. <laughs> I have no idea. Next one is Sunkissed and Bronzed Moment. Talking about bronzers, I just felt like I had to show off my tan because we're talking about sunny stuff and whatever else. I'm just like chucking this out of the way. Okay, let's see what this one is. I thought that this one here would be... 
I don't know. These two bronzers look literally identical. Look at that, you guys. They look exactly the same. This one is a little bit warmer, but um, definitely don't notice a difference um, in them at all. All right. Well, where are my scissors at? I found them. Okay. So we are going in with this box here. Can knock it over how fast this came. When did this come out? Was it Monday or Tuesday? I have no idea. I cannot keep track of like anything. So, oh, more of the bronzers. Okay. So here are, I had done two separate orders because then I went in and I was like, well, I need to get more. So. The next one I think is a bunch of highlighters that I got. This is Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. Now I bought this one just because um, I really kind of like the blush, but to me these are really not that exciting. Just, they, they look so similar. Yeah, look at that. If you look, look at all of these like the same, these colors right here are like identical. But the blushes seem to be pretty nice. These are just like piling up over here. Okay. Oh, I have another one. What's this one? Oh, this is not going to be my tanning color. I bought this for the blush. This is the Lilac Love with Top Tan. These are definitely, you know, baked, um, obviously. And when you do a baked, a powder they are going to be a lot more sheer um kind of like how the hourglass stuff is um i'm not sure how these are going to test but i this once again looks identical to the other one but this right here i thought was gorgeous you know what we're actually going to apply this let me see if i have a clean brush i think if you're going to go in with these you're going to want something a little bit more denser like a denser brush i think if it's denser it'll go on a lot better and you'll get more pigment where this is kind of more fluffy so you're going to get less product on it but i'm in love with this color right here this is the lilac one not really showing up on camera but you can see no bronze no blush this is really really pretty oh wow in person this looks totally different i know i just did one cheek but that's okay yeah i really really like that and if that one was so light and it went on that well imagine going in with a darker one and a much much denser brush this is my blush brush right here which is perfect because i used the becca ones but i didn't want to use this one because it has a pink color i'm on it and this one here was clean but that is beautiful beautiful all right next box is going to be the big box i don't know this one's my biggest box i just get so excited when she releases stuff to where i go a little bit crazy I bought almost the full collection. The only thing I didn't buy was the loose um, glitters. I just didn't feel that, that um, I needed that. So, oh my goodness, guys, we have so much stuff. We are gonna be here for a hot minute. Did I really buy another one? I think I bought almost every single um, one. Yeah, okay, so this was the last bronzer that I had purchased because um I knew that they were going to be a little bit lighter so I actually bought the darkest one that they had which was Be Rouge and Expresso Shot. Now honestly for me I think that this is going to be perfect. Um, I'm flying out on Sunday and I'll probably just take this one home with me. Oh yes this is me to a T. Okay so we went in with um where's my blush brush i just had it what did i do with it oh here it is so we tried that lilac one on this side so let's go in with this one right here 
and I'm just lightly gonna dab this. Oh my goodness, you could just see that this right here is made for me 100%. I have darker skin and I'm definitely more bronzed. If you're gonna get one, I highly recommend this one. I really, really like this one. Beautiful. I love her J. 10 minutes. Wow, I'm getting through this pretty fast. Wow, look at that. Look at all these. So how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six I bought. Sheesh. She went a little bit ham. And I'm just gonna take all of these highlighters out of the uh, package. And then um, we'll just go ahead and open them together. Like I said, the only thing that I didn't buy was um, those loose glitters. I just don't like them. I have some from ColourPop from like forever ago and I never even used them. I, I just don't. It's just so much work and I'm way too busy of a person to be trying to tap out some glitter. So whatever, this is the first one I got. This is called Turned On. I think I bought this one for an eyeshadow, honestly, or for something. Her packaging is stunning to a T. Mm, that is so, so dark. I'm actually gonna have to swatch this. I, oh, it is so light, like, yeah, that one swatch. Definitely bought this for an eyeshadow and I think it was a good call. Obviously, I'm not gonna use that as a highlighter. Well, knowing me, I probably would. And I would probably make it work and flaunt it. If you got it, flaunt it. That is so beautiful. It's like a dark, like auburn color. All right, this one here is called Iced. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead, let me take a different finger. They are so, so, so soft. There's ice right next to it. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. Ooh, awestruck, awestruck. Don't mind me. Ooh, this one will be my favorite. All right, you guys. I swear I'm barely touching it and it just feels like, it feels like pure silk. All right, so let's go in. There's the awestruck right there that's iced. And then that top one was what turned on. Those are beautiful. This one here definitely has more of a champagne. This is gonna be like the iced. This one here, the last one that I got is Mesmerized. This one I think too, I'm gonna like. I am obsessed with this blush. I think it it matches everything perfect. Oh, this one has like a duo chrome to it, almost a little bit. Um, We're gonna take this one and swatch this one as well. This one is beautiful. So there's that one right there. Definitely has more of a gold undertone, but these are the four that I got. And then this one here I bought just for an eyeshadow. I love darker, more shimmery colors. I know my makeup looks like crap right now, but I've been at work um, all day and it's definitely oily and I work in the heat, so. But yes, I love all of these. Um, I can't technically rate the products. Uh, the highlighters for me are definitely a go. These I'm not 100% sure on just because I have my makeup on and I'm not able to um, test these out. But honestly, these bronzers almost look identical to like all of them. I'm glad I got the um, two darker ones. So the one, I don't know where is that. Yeah, this one was definitely my favorite. This was my one that I had to have. This was the Hot Lava and Cocoa Ridge. Um, to me, this is perfect. I wanted like a coral color and that bronzer for me is gonna be flawless. So I know I got a lot of stuff, you guys, and um, hopefully I can do a makeup video and my light just died. 
trying to turn on the lights that are over here just to make it look a little bit decent. So I'm going to test these out. Like I said, I am leaving on Sunday, so I'm not going to be able to film as much as I would like to, but um, at least I'm able to get a few videos up for you guys. But um, yeah, I'm so excited to test all of these out and I cannot wait. Um, and I will let you guys know later on which one's my favorite, how they apply, and we'll do it one-on-one -on -one together. And um, everyone's skin type is going to be different and it's going to apply different on everybody. These are super, super light. I have a feeling these bronzers are going to take a hot minute to get on. Um, we'll see how it goes. I know Jaclyn Hill has much lighter skin than I do. And I feel like the skin tone for the blushes really aren't, or I mean for the bronzers aren't for everybody. But we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll do it together tomorrow. I have to be at work at once. I'll probably start getting ready around 11. And we'll, um test all these bad boys out so all right I love you guys I hope you guys enjoyed my haul I know I enjoyed it obviously because I am I love makeup I have ever since um I was little I used to still blush from my aunt when I would get out of the shower and she had a little cover girl one and I would put it on my cheeks when I would get out of the shower and when I would get out of the shower she'd be like oh your cheeks are so rosy and I'd be like right I took a really hot shower but I was terrified to tell anybody that I like did my makeup. I really wasn't allowed to wear makeup because I grew up very um, religious. Um, I remember somebody bought me like a powder once and I I don't know, I might've been 12 and I know that um, it got taken away from me and my dad took it away. Like it was like evil and I wasn't allowed to have it. So my background for makeup is actually very, very different than probably anybody else that is on YouTube. Um, I taught myself um, which I know most people have. Um, I haven't had any classes. I do a lot of my own work. Um, I've taught myself everything that I know. Um, just watching things, learning, studying. I did take a few courses online for makeup. Um, so I do have a certificate for that. And it just taught me like the history of makeup and everything um, behind it just makes me appreciate it more. And obviously I have my Barbie tattoo. Uh, it just reminds me of MAC and makeup. But um, yeah, I want to say I started wearing makeup when I was like 16, 15. And it was very minimum. Like I was so scared because black eyeliner, I am 32 almost. So black eyeliner when I was 16 was like the shit okay like everybody wore black eyeliner and that's just how it was but um I know that um I just was like always so scared to step out because I my grandma had a uh, custody of me every other weekend so I know when I was at my grandma's house that's when I would start to play with makeup because I had my own stuff there because I couldn't have any makeup at my house so when I was at my grandma's house on Fridays and Saturdays like every other weekend um, she would totally let me wear makeup and she would get me perfume and like she would take me shopping and she is the one who really always made me feel um, beautiful. Um, my life story is so long. I've been through a lot and as you can see I didn't really have a mother figure in my life. So my grandma for sure, both my grandparents um, just always loved their makeup. I would go through their cabinets and everything and Everybody has a makeup story and a makeup journey. And I love hearing people's makeup journey because it's their passion. It's something that they love. Yeah, I work full time, but this is just me being me. And I, I, I love it. And I fully support anybody that, that does this. But um, yeah, maybe I'll do a makeup journey. Uh, my my life is pretty interesting and in, in how I got into makeup. I definitely wanted to be like my mom, which I didn't have because I know she went to makeup school. and um, my mother, when she was younger, was to me one of the most beautiful women in the world. She was stunning, stunning. I'll have to get some pictures up and definitely take time for that YouTube video. It'll have to be like professional, not like the rest of mine. Like I'll film on my camera, I will get up my lights, I will hook up my computer, I will edit because I don't have time for that and I don't worry about it. But, um, yeah, usually on my channel, what you see is what you get. But when I talk about my journey with makeup, it's going to be sit down, sit down, get to know me, real talk, guys. 
But anyways, thank you for listening. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next video.